everybody! Happy Talk To Me Tuesday! I hope this video turns out better than the one from a couple weeks ago. I'm using my flip camera now. Haha! <laughs> so, um, I have a couple things to show. <laughs> Yay, crafting! Um, and, um, a, well, I only have one of them with me, so I'm gonna have to stick pictures at the end of this video. Sorry! Um, so, I have finally picked back up with my Doctor Who Stitch Along Pro, uh, quilt project. Um, I was stuck on the very last block, the TARDIS block, uh, because I ran out of the blue embroidery thread that I was using and just never got around to buying some more, which was really dumb. So I finally, just because I lost the paper that had the actual color of the floss on it, I finally just took the stupid um, fabric with me to Michael's and bought myself some more floss and finished that. So here is that. I hope you can see this. I have no way of knowing what this video looks like. So it looks like this and um, I'll put a picture at the end so that um, maybe it can be seen better. But uh, it looks like this and I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. It was really fun to get to stitch again. Um, I have not done anything with embroidery of any kind for quite a while, which is very sad. Um, so there is that, and um, aside from that, I have been working on a project that I cannot show because it is a surprise for someone, and I don't want that person to see it, um, but it's coming along and will hopefully be sent out um, maybe this weekend, maybe, we'll see. Um, otherwise, this past weekend, I went to a poetry reading with a friend of mine who I have recently got hooked on Sherlock. And so she bought, had bought herself a Sherlock t-shirt. Uh, and I decided that I needed one too. She told me she was going to wear it to the reading and I decided that I had to have my own Sherlock shirt because, hello, Sherlock. So I made an I Am Sherlocked t-shirt. And uh, paper, um, paper, freezer paper stenciling, sorry. And um, yeah, so that was, that was good fun. It turned out okay. I had to rush it quite a bit uh, because this weekend was very busy. Uh, but I think it turned out decent and I was pretty excited about it. So I will also put a picture of that because um, it'll just be easier to show you um, in picture form than holding it up in front of the camera. And the last thing is something that I have not actually started yet, but I bought the fabric for it today. I have um, a woman that I work with, she's actually my department head, is having a baby. And her baby shower is this weekend, <laughs> running a little behind. So I have, um, well I'm trying to decide what to make for her. She's actually also uh, quite good at sewing. She started not too long ago really and um, has become an amazing quilter and she makes she I mean she made pretty much all the the fabric um, things in the nursery the curtains the um, crib not crib liner well whatever uh, the bed skirt for the crib and so I was just thinking what can I make what can I make and I was over on so can she.com and they have their daily tutorials and today actually they had a tutorial for teeny baby booties and I just thought they were really cute and would be easy enough to whip up this week um, and I'm also gonna make her some bibs because we could all use bibs in our lives I guess if you have babies so I went and bought fabric for the baby booties and ooh, there go the clasps or the snaps um, she and her husband are um, pretty big on keeping the nursery gender neutral and I'm sure they'll have pink clothes and, and whatnot, but I thought that I would um, stay true to that. So I chose a green and yellow and white fabric, which is kind of the colors of her nursery. A nursery is like a yellow and um, gray, I think. It's very pretty. Um, so I thought that was very cute. And then to go with it, just a solid like lime green. And so the little baby booties are very simple. They're um, I, I'll, pro, I'll provide a link to the tutorial um, down in the bottom um, underneath the video in the blog post if you want to check it out. And then I was going to make a couple bibs as well and I've got some cute fabric um, that I thought I would um, use and 
Yeah, so that's the plan. So hopefully after the weekend, I will have quite a few, well, a few more things to share. So yes, that is it. Uh, it is very, very hot here in North Carolina and my air conditioning is not working, so I'm kind of wilting slowly, so I'm sorry about my appearance. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm gonna try and get through all the videos this week, but in the meantime, have a lovely Tuesday or whatever day it is that I post this on. And that's it. Enjoy yourselves. Be crafty.